Welcome CSC200 to our introduction to Python Anywhere. This will be our online IDE that we'll be using for creating and managing MySQL databases. We used to use Amazon's Cloud9 in the past, but I think this will be a little easier to work with for an online class. So I'm going to go over just getting it set up and getting your account set up, and then we'll, we'll get in more detail with it. So to start off, if you go to pricing and sign up at Python Anywhere, again, it's pythonanywhere.com, and we won't be using Python right away, but we might be using a little bit. You're going to go to create a beginner account, which is free. And when you give yourself a username, keep it something simple because it will be part of your databases and part of your URL. So don't make it anything too long or any kind of odd saying or anything. Just kind of try to keep your name part of it. I'm going to do one. I'll just put Homa RCN because it's my RCN account. So I'll just call it that for now. And I'll put in my email and I'll give it a fairly simple password that I'll remember. And you could agree to the terms that you're at least 13 years old and you can register and you may have to validate your account so I'm going to register right now and they have a quick tour here so I'm not going to go through the tour I'll give you the tour and it says here you have not confirmed your email address so you can't reset your password or anything so make sure you do that so let me do that quick and when you come here you can just save these preferences it says hints and tips downtime alerts. If you don't want any of this stuff, you can uncheck this, but I'll just keep it checked for now. You can even check the newsletter if you want, and I'll hit save. That's all you have to do when you get to this part. And then I'll go back here and just click on my link again, and it should update. So I'll go back to dashboard just to show you around a little bit. There's a dashboard here, and you'll see things like consoles, files. We won't be really using notebooks or web apps, and the same links are up here. Dashboard, consoles, files, web tasks we won't really use, and databases. And just to show you some things here, if you go to consoles, we'll be using consoles. You could only have two consoles open, and that shouldn't really be an issue. But notice that you can start a Bash console, a MySQL console, even Python consoles here. We'll talk about that later, but you can only have two open. So these are the consoles. That's the command line. Um, you know, when you click on this, that'll look like something like that, where you get command line environment that we're going to learn to work in. So that's what that is. I'll just hit back. And if you go into files, the first file you could even get started here, we're going to make a directory called databases, just so we could keep some files in there so it's separate just from the regular local environment. So I'll create a new directory. I'll just call it databases, lowercase. And this is where we're going to keep files in here. So we'll keep all kinds of files in here. I'll call it databases. And I'll create a new directory. And that's all I have to do right now. We are going to upload files to here, but I'm not going to do that right now. And I'm going to go to databases. And it says initialize MySQL. And we're going to be using this. So what you can do here, I would just say let's all use the same password, which I'll give you. So we're all going to use the MySQL admin. We're just going to use that. That way we all have the same password. You shouldn't have to put this in uh, very often, especially when you're working in here. If you have any problem, we'll just call it MySQL admin. And it'll be OK as long as you do it the same way twice and we'll all try to keep that same password and I'll initialize and it says it'll take a minute or so and we're connected notice that our databases will always have your username in it so it'll always be username dollar sign and then whatever the database name is now we're not going to create any just yet and I could close this out one other thing I'd like you to do before we do anything with databases yet is if you go into your account, and I'll do that here, you could go into a place called Teacher. And if you go into Teacher, put my username in here. And just put in Homa WCCC, and then I'll have access to your account to go in and see your files. So that way you don't have to be uploading things. And you might have to upload things occasionally, but you, I'll be able to see your files and help you if you have problems or anything like that. So just you're just going to put in Homa WCCC. That's my Python Anywhere username, at least as an instructor. And I'll check that here. Hopefully it lets me. And that means I'll be able to go in and see your account. So that's all you have to do right now to get set up. So if you go to your dashboard, you can see there's a Bash console, which, which we had started. And we could close that. We have no files, we just created a directory. And as far as databases, if I go up here, and I could I could look here too, I could go to consoles here. You can see there's one open, so I'm just gonna close out of that because I didn't do anything. So I'll just close that console. And, and under databases, we just set up our MySQL. 
I'm not sure why this is coming up again, because we already did that. Oh, I guess because I didn't create a database. That's actually why this is happening here. It, it'll keep doing this until we create a database, I think. So let me just check this out here. I'll, I'll use the same thing, my SQL admin. Actually, as long as we're doing this here, uh, let's just create a database. We'll just call it presidents. And then I'll show you how to upload a database. We've used this one in other classes, but just call it presidents. If this comes here, we'll just put presidents, lowercase, because we're going to use a capital letter for tables. Uh, but for this, you just have to put in lowercase presidents. And that's all we're doing is creating it. We don't have any data in it yet or anything like that. So I'm just going to hit create. You shouldn't have to do anything here yet. Let's just hit create. And that should be fine. So we shouldn't have to do this. We already did that. Hopefully we're okay. And, and then we'll have a console here for presidents where there won't be anything there. You'll just go in here and there'll just be, there'll be no tables or anything like that. So we won't do anything just yet, but we will create a database. So let me actually just go back. And this is our first database that we're going to create. And what we're going to do is import data to put in there. So we'll do that in our next video, but we should be okay here. Let me just go back and make sure we're okay. I'll go back to files and let me just go to databases and make sure it's not asking me to. Yeah, I guess, I guess you have to create a database where it's going to keep asking you to put a password in. So if you just create one just with the name presidents and you could always delete it too. Now to turn in your assignment, which we're calling EX1A, make sure you go back to my Warren and go to your course and just go to coursework and look for the assignment in unit one. It's going to be Python Anywhere account setup EX1A and just click on the link. And then in here, make sure you add a comment. You're just going to add a comment. You don't have to put in a picture or link anything. You're just going to type your username. So I can match up your username with your name. So when I grade it, I know who, who it is because I know your username isn't going to be just your name. Some people use all kinds of different usernames. So make sure you put your username in here for your Python Anywhere account and then just hit save. So that's all you have to do for that part of it to turn in the assignment. So that's all that we have to do right now is just set up our first database. It's just an empty database and we're going to import some data into it so we have a table inside it with some information and we'll stop here.